Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you the brand new van that is on the JR Dev Store. It is a Rob Wall van. Uh, all we'll need is it'll come in a small folder like this and you'll just need to put you, uh, your service storage script here. Uh, service script server, sorry. And now we can test the van. All we've got to do to test this is press play. Come down to the van and break the window. This takes a little bit of time to break the window. Once it's broken, set off some high beams and an alarm, and shows you the glass can smash. You can open, it opens the door, and then we can rob the cash by, first I need to open wallet data and properties, so you can see it, we've got zero value. If we rob the cash out here, then we get $100, the cooldown comes on, and once the cooldown is over, it's probable again and we can do it again. Now quickly I'm just going to show you the script and how it works. So uh, the actual van model is here but then we have a steel script. So the actual steel script only consists of this door, an extra door and yep. So here we've got open close so don't worry about these, don't need to touch them. And this is mainly what you're looking at to change is the script section. These are the two audios, this is the smash glass. <laughs> And this is the alarm. All you can do is you can just change them around. I'll just quickly go through the script. So a proxy is the proxy dot triggered. Uh, glass is the broken glass, which is this part. Uh, F glass, which is fixed glass, which is this part. Smash sound is the smash sound. Alarm is the alarm sound. Tag is the GUI. Uh, GUI rank frame name one. Uh, light is the script for the flashing headlights, which is just a simple script. Now, uh, this is the triggered function. This changes the color of the overhead GUI, uh, that GUI. And that turns the alarm on, that turns the smash sound on, that turns the headlights that are flashing. This makes the fixed glass um, invisible and makes the smash glass visible. And that is this section. And then we go on to step two. Step two is a little bit more complicated. However, it is just a load of variables, not going to lie. Uh, so this is the closed door, which you can see is this one, which is that door here. And then we've got an open door, which is this one, which is invisible. And then we can see we make it transparent, can collide off. Uh, and we make the other ones uh, untransparent. And can collide on is already on them. Now step three is a little bit more confusing however that's the proxy there that's the proxy these are all the variables again uh, and this just resets it back to where it was. Now if you want to change the cooldown this is this is where to change cooldown. So this is where you'll change the cooldown uh, at the moment it's set to five seconds however you can set it to whatever seconds you want. If you don't like the robbable colour just change the colour here. Uh, you can either do it like that and you can click wherever you want or you can grab the colour from the block which is there and you copy that and paste it in there and that's also for the other one. Um, other than that it's all perfect. The only thing you actually ever need to change in this script if you want to keep it very similar is just the cooldown which you can set to whatever time you feel. Anyway guys thank you for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.